All right, guys, we are here. It is day two. We are in the upper peninsula of Michigan right now in what I refer to as heaven, God's country. One of the most beautiful places to be right now in North America, and that is the upper peninsula of Michigan. You just gotta take in a second here and look at you know the colors. We are here near Ontonagon. You got the Porcupine Mountains. And last year, a customer told me, or a couple years ago, a customer told me about a really cool bite that goes on out here for lake trout so we decided to come here and jig last year and it was an amazing amazing time uh, yes <laughs> yes yes i didn't know that was you oh should i double us up oh i'm gonna double us up i'm gonna double us up yes and he's on and he's on and he's on. i'm gonna triple us up i'm gonna triple us up oh, let's go. This is cool. oh there's a huge school here on! We're on! We're tripled! We're tripled! We're tripled! I am so excited to do this. Are you excited to do this or what? I'm excited. We're going to smash them. Right? I'm, I, man, so here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to try to teach you again, see if this bite's going on, how to find fall lake trout here in the Great Lakes. Look at the water temps. Last year the water was warmer, so this year I'm assuming the water's going to be colder like it is down by us, which means probably the fish will be shallower colder water shallower fish warmer water they'll hang out a little bit deeper we're going to use jigging spoons we're going to use swim baits and whatever it takes to catch them for the meat down beat down smack down crack down on the great lakes tour day two coming at you from the beautiful up you ready andy i'm ready let's launch that damn boat man All right, guys so we are just rolling up here we just launched the boat Andy's gonna put the live scope down and he's gonna look but you really don't need your live scope um, out here I think if you come out here and troll with downriggers spoons um, uh, uh, spinning glows are fantastic I think you'll do fine you can come out here and jig fish but all we're gonna do is we're just gonna drive around right now it's like 90 feet of water and we're just gonna go over some of the waypoints we found last year look for fish and i'm looking not for singles i'm i'm trying to find like pods where i see like numerous one two three four five or six fish then we're going to drop down on those sort of fish keep moving i see the geese are migrating the colors are changing and we are about to start fishing here we go All right, guys, so here's the deal. We came to the waypoints. We've been out here about an hour. And here's the crazy sad part, is we're not seeing that many fish. Last year, we rolled up here. We dropped the trolling motor down, and it was like, oh my god, there's fish everywhere. This year, we went to spot one, two, and three. Been here an hour, seeing just a fish here, a fish there, not a bunch. A small one. Andy scores first. That's all right, though. We, yeah, it's a we, fish. We wanted, not only that, we wanted to keep one for dinner. So if we're going to catch one, a small oh, oh no see i said dinner I, no i just said dinner mm -hmm. i grabbed the net and that's what happens so oh. would you have that one on the hot spoon hot spoon green right. light oh for one guys just goes to show you you start off every year it's a little different we're out here in 100 feet of water we're gonna try shallow we're gonna go deep but i don't know it's not looking good to start off today's trip we'll see what happens all right guys I am on. I am on. It's actually been very slow for. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yes, we are on. My, I'm recording, Andy. I am recording. I just the back of oh, thank you. 
Well, we wanted to catch some lake trout. We are not, I'm not marking them though. It's the interesting thing is we're not, we're not marking them. But you got one. We, we got one. What we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to catch a couple, do a little catch and cook. This is gonna be our dinner. And then, uh, here we go. First Lake Superior lake trout of the fall. Not a big one, but that is our dinner. Perfect little eater. Keep a couple little ones. Maybe one little one, and that'll be enough for both of us on the old hot spoon. One thing about Lake Superior's lake trout and the fish up here, guys, is the quality of eating them. The eating quality is so much better than Lake Michigan just because the forage base, they're all eating schmelt. They're eating, they're not eating alewives down by us. They eat alewives, real oily base fish. So these fish, fantastic. First fish, awesome. dinner. Let's go. All right, on the hot spoon. All right, guys, so quick little update. We came out here, we've been out here for about three hours and we've averaged about one fish per hour and really nothing big. Uh, we fished this area last year. Water temps were actually a little warmer and everyone was catching fish out here, trollers. We marked a lot more, but this year, just not seeing them. So we went in shallow, we looked, we graphed, we spent an hour in shallow, didn't see much. Came out here to 80 to 100, saw a few, caught a few. Now we're gonna run out deep. We're gonna see if we can find some fish maybe out in 150, 200 feet. If not, we are gonna abort the plan, Andy. Abort. And we need to go somewhere else to fish for something else because I was telling Andy, last year when we came here, we were chasing big cohos up shallow and that bite wasn't going good. We caught them really good the year before. Maybe the cohos will be going, something else will be going, walleyes will be going. There's always something else biting, right? That's right. All right, well, let's just keep looking. You, you don't need to put, you know, they're suspended fish, so. Here he comes, here he comes. Got him, oh yes, got him, oh! Finally, yes. We came out here to 150 feet of water and found a school of them. Put a swim bait on, dropped it down. Oh yeah, that's what we want. Not them babies. Okay, okay. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Mm, hell yeah. Let's freaking go. Hell yes. Yes. Oh, on the swim bait, on the swim bait. I love that bite. Oh, get some. Freaking get some. Oh, yeah. Don't get any better than that. Oh, man. So, guys, we spent like three hours just, you know, putting a lot of time in up shallow where we caught them last year. Okay, a lot of time last year. Finally, I told Andy, I said, we got to go out deep. You know, the fish just haven't migrated. They must not have migrated in. We found, yes. Oh, Andy just missed one. Andy's, oh, oh, Andy's on. Andy's on. We're doubled up. We're freaking doubled up. We are doubled up. Let's freaking go. We are on them. Just like that, Andy. Just like that. Oh, I can see him on live scope right here. Fish are down 50 feet. Oh, there you go. Now she's alive. Oh, 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 I love it. I love it. Oh, feel that burn in the forearms. Oh, what the heck is going on? She just woke up. Boys and girls, that ain't no walleye. Oh my God, she just woke up. <laughs> Like the whole time it was like a wet noodle. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. All right, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Here comes mine, Andy. Look at this, a nice one. Yeah, look at it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Dude, I love it. I'm gonna turn the boat. Look at, he just crunched it. Keep mine in the net right here. Boy, mine ate that so deep, Andy. He's got that thing so choked. There's another fish underneath oh, yeah, us? Right there. Oh boy, no, that's your fish right no, there. No, right here, that one. Wait, what are these? That's another fish coming in. Look that's there. another fish? That's another fish? Yeah, they're coming in. Oh, that's, look how long that is. Look at them all. Where? This, right, that up there. Is that your fish? I don't think so. That's man. air bubbles. All right, I'm gonna get two of them in the net. All right, yes. 
We just double trouble. Oh, All right, guys, we're gonna show you these two lake shot. We just doubled up out in 150 feet of water after spending three hours shallow. Bigger fish out deep. All right, guys, one thing I just want to point out here, we, you know, if you're going to let your fish go, a lot of times we use uh, the clam catcher and release net. It's really good on the fish, on the gills, on the fins. The material here is really good for trout. You can just keep that trout right in the net, unhook them in the water, grab them by the tail, support the belly, get a quick pick. But unfortunately, the one I caught, a little bit bigger one here, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of blood coming out. That fish just crunched a big swim bait and that hook is so far down that unfortunately the way that lake trout sometimes eat it weigh in their gills so we'll probably keep one or two that one's in the gills we'll probably keep her but just goes to show you they will eat a big bait all right guys look at those beautiful lake superior yeah, that looks lake trout yes yes Gonna keep a couple for dinner and then uh let the rest go all right, guys, I just want to take a second and go over how I fish a swim bait for lake trout. You can fish a hair jig, uh, a tube, really the same way. And I learned this technique uh, from my buddy Ashley Bosner on the West Coast, kind of like the chase technique. And what I do is I will drop this big swim bait straight down, right down to the bottom. Okay, it's 100 feet or whatever, however deep you are. Or if you see the fish, you cast out to them. The key is keep it above them, all right? You stop that bait, you see the fish coming, you see the fish swimming up, and I start sw swimming it, and here they come faster, and I pull it faster. Here he comes, here he comes, and I just keep pulling it slowly a little faster away, but I still let them catch up, and pow, and then just hammer them. So, you, you know, that's one technique. I know that guys will drop to the bottom and dead stick it. And then the other thing, that Andy and I are doing is we're fishing a jigging spoon really about a one ounce hot spoon here it seems like lake trout love the chartreuse the green um, the lime crush stuff like that and we'll drop that down right down to the bottom let's say boom you're in 80 feet of water hit the bottom close your bail and rip it and snap it and that's why I like a bait caster because you're doing a lot of forearm and a lot of elbow kind of ripping it and this is a, a bait caster is going to give you a little bit more leverage and torque and a smoother drag system when you hook these big lake trout. You know, it's kind of nice. But spinning rods work fine. It's just a little easier to just sit and rip. The one thing I see a lot of people do, though, is they don't kind of snap it up enough. So I'm using 14 or 16 pound fluorocarbon, but you could use like 20 or 30 pound braid with a 15 or 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And again, I'm not an expert out here on Lake Superior. This is my second year coming up here and the first time ever going out in the abyss here, just looking for pelagic suspended lake trout. That's what we're doing. Those are the baits, that's what we're using. Hopefully you guys will try them when you come out here. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Yes, Andy. Andy's on, Andy's on, yes. That, he was chasing yours. Oh, he just hit mine. Oh my God, he hit mine too, dude. Come up here, come up here. What the hell? Oh, dude, he just hit mine too when I was holding it. That was nuts. Wait, I see another one down there. I see another one, I see another one. I gotta get this turned on, Andy, we got ash. Here we go, here we freaking go, Andy. Where's mine, where's, oh, th there's the other ones, right here. Right behind the back of the boat, 25 feet, look. Got her? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. No. All right, nice, nice. I'm nice job, Andy. Going. Nice little mama. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, mine's dropping. Dropping by it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Did you want it? Yeah. Here comes one, here he comes. Got him, oh, yes, oh. Yes, oh. Swim baiting it, baby, swim baiting it. Mm. Love it, oh, I love that swim bait bite. My favorite, just pull it away from him. I'm just gonna unhook him, not a giant. I'm just gonna unhook her right in the water. Yep. still so much fun, so cool. So cool. Oh, yeah. 
There it goes, perfect. All right guys, so what this is, is actually a prototype. This is one of our new prototype tungsten uh, jig heads. So we're thinking about maybe, so we had some samples made and this is actually a tungsten jig head. It's a one and a half ounce and um, just a paddle tail. Drop it down, reel, hang on, set the hook when they destroy it. Do you see my swim bait, sir? Do you see it anywhere? Still coming down. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come up for it, please, please, please. Please chase it, please. Please, please. Yes, yes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. He's gonna eat it. Get him! Oh, yes! Yes, I love it! Oh, come on! Get some of that! Oh! Oh, so much fun. Golly, it's addicting. Swim baits and lake trout. I just saw him charge up for it and I just started pulling it away from him. Oh, yes. So much fun. We figured out like this different technique, you know? Love it. Love it. Not giants, but just great, fun, beautiful fish, man, that they're just charging and eating that swim bait. So much fun. Love it, you guys. And I love that we, it wasn't easy. We went to the Bluegill Lake. That was easy. We just rolled up in the same little bend that we fished the last fall, and it was like pop, 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 pop. Easy. We came out here for three hours. We caught three fish. We went to 40, 50 feet of water. We checked the, the water was cold. Temperature is right. Went to the, all the waypoints we had last year. Nothing. So we said, vacate. I told Andy, when these fish decide to migrate in, you know, they all usually migrate in, and I just didn't feel like they have all migrated in. I feel like a lot of these fish are still out in this probably 100 to three, 400 feet of water. Within the next two weeks, they're all gonna slide up, change colors, and start spawning. Just watching the fish. Watch for his behavior. Here he comes, he's gonna see it any second. He should see it any second, Andy. Here he comes, here he comes. Come on, come on. Got him! Oh my God, they just love the swim bait. They can't freaking resist it. Love it. Oh, they can't resist it, Andy. You know, I mean, I love, I love getting them on a jigging spoon too. Don't get me wrong, but it's, it's the one, two thing, you know, pow, pow. Another nice little laker. So cool, dude. I just love this that we're out here in the middle, you know, catching suspended lake trout, something different. And this, this is not a big fish, Andy, but yeah. he just destroyed that bait. Yeah. I mean, look the way they're chewing it. They're just chewing it. So cool. Such a beautiful, cool, unique fish. Want to see him swim down to the bottom? There he is. There he goes. That's the lake trout right there. My bait's dropping down near him. Let's see if he turns for it. Here he comes, here he comes. Come on, come on. Man, he chased it a ways. Wow. Steady retrieve. So much fun. I keep saying it, I keep doing it. It's so much fun, dude. You know, I mean, he just comes right up, they chase it. They're not huge. Now this one's got good color on it. Really good colors to it. I try not to even get them in the boat, flip them in the boat if I'm gonna let them go. I just try to unhook them in the water. It's probably best on the fish. I see guys way overhandling fish, you know, flopping trout in the boat, get over taking them out of the water too long. Trout are a real delicate fish, so when you grab them, you typically want to try to grab them by the tail 
and then support their belly. So sometimes you gotta, you know, to unhook them, put your hands in their gills. But if you don't have to put your hands in the gills, don't. Just grab them by the, you know, that's how you want to hold your trout, just like that. Support the belly tight on the tail. Everything's right here with my thumb and my index finger. So beautiful colored up little male lake trout. That's a pretty one. I love the red fins in the fall. See you later, buddy. He chased it a long ways. I see both of us going down. Make sure you're recording. Yep, cool. Be ready. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. That just should not be just come on. It's just like, good, that thump. I love it. You miss one? <laughs> just real fat, pull it away. Just, uh, I got a baby. See you, bud. Oh, man. Come on. Where are you at? You see it? Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it! Oh! I love this! It is so awesome, dude. Come here, Andy. There's one right up here, too. Look. Not sure. I lost him. Another decent one. All right. All right. Little tail grab. Oh. What do we got going on? Such a beautiful fish, hey guys. I love jigging lake trout. It is so awesome. Here he comes. Got him! Oh! Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, good one? yeah, that's a good one. Yes, 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 better one. They're right in front of me, five feet underneath the boat. Right here, the right, 10 feet, right here. They're right here, Andy, see them? Yeah, uh, I was on some here. I lost it now, but I... But I see a couple, just so you know, there's a couple of them right, right in front of the boat where I'm pointed, 15 feet right now. I got a whole boxes, bags full of them, and you you want to fish with a chunk of plastic? Just fish the same way, same, same exact thing. Ah! Where's that chunk? That broken piece. Well, that's the one that oh, you. No, had just put a put a brand new one on. Here, let me see that. Me and Andy are arguing. He's trying to fish with this, and I'm telling him to put a new piece of plastic on. I'm the jerk. Another one right here. Here he comes. Got him right here underneath the boat. Yep. Good one too. What a smash fast. Well, we are gonna wrap it up with this fish, guys. This is gonna be the last fish of the day out here. I'm gonna just net him real quick. And we are gonna go check out another spot since we had a great day catching Lakers. We're gonna go see, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna wrap up with this fish, we're gonna put the boat on the trailer. We got about an hour, hour and a half drive. We're gonna go scout a new area that we haven't fished much. Just spend about an hour there before sunset. If the fish are there this evening, we see some. We may go back there in the morning, but uh, had a lot of fun fishing here. And uh, I'll show you this last fish. All right, guys, there you go. Couple beautiful Lake Superior lake trout with that. We've just put the beat down on them. You know, we spent three hours up shallow, we moved out deep, 
just they wanted the swim bait but if you're going to come out here and try this you know make sure you get some heavy jigs right with paddle tails and he was using key tacks and then um, get some jigging spoons so three quarter ounce one ounce one and a half ounce all that sort of stuff works really good hope you enjoyed this week's great lakes tour we are back up here on lake superior and what we're trying to do is just go all over the place find cohos find lake trout find walleyes crappies smallmouth you name it for the meat down beat down smack down crack down what do you gotta say down. yeah what do you gotta say andy awesome wasn't it great yeah i mean just just a lot of fun swim baiting lake trout so if you haven't tried it try it leave me a comment what is your pb lake trout and do you like eating lake trout because these lake superior lake trout are delicious so subscribe leave me a comment we're gonna put the boat on the trailer and head to the next spot